Hello, this is my case study, Internet Use Violations, Threats Over the World Wide Web. Category 1, what do I know about this case? I know that Miss Tate is a science teacher at a very prestigious school, and her principal um, does his best to make everyone happy and has tried to uh, give Miss Tate some guidance about what she can do in her classroom to make our students happy and, her, and the parents of the students happy as well. And I know that someone created a Facebook page posting mean comments about Miss Tate. What do I need to know? Who created this page? Is there a real threat to Miss Tate's life? And do the authorities need to get involved in this situation? Identifying the problem. Students are cyberbullying their teacher um, via their Facebook page that they created. Um, because of the nature of the comments, Miss Tate is scared and um, you know contacted her principal. And now the principal is left with investigating this issue and determining what the plan of action is, um, what to go about uh, resolving this issue. Category two, my plan of action is to set up a meeting with what Mill William Hall, who um, Miss Tate accused of creating this Facebook page, um, and see if he has any information or um, any background knowledge about this. Um, <clears throat> investigate if this is a real threat. Is it a prank, or do they actually intend to harm Miss Tate, or you know anything like that? We need to figure out um, if it actually is a real threat to her herself. Um, and then just have a talk with the student body about cyberbullying. Um, it's a big problem um, today and we just need to you know let students know that their words can um, hurt others. Um, strategies to implant implement this plan step one um, with this meeting with William Hall um, don't automatically assume that he's the one that made the website um, just act like you're in a friendly manner but questioning um, you know who made this website or if he has any information ask if he even uses Facebook or heard about this page um, and ask why he thinks students would post things about a teacher that um, seems to work very hard in her profession. And then just have a pencil and pen um, and a paper to write down questions that you ask and um, his responses so that you can reference them at a later date if you need to. Um, for step two, uh, talk with your resource officer about the Facebook page. Um, we have one at our school that's really good at determining that, so <clears throat> I think that they would be a great resource. Um, and talking with the student, gain insight to, de to determine the legitimacy of this website and the threats. Um, and then talk with Miss Tate about your findings. Um, if it is not a real threat, she can calm down. But if it is, you can, you know, get the police involved in this matter. And then step three, talking with the student body. Um, it seems like uh, there have been issues with Miss Tate before. So, um, but we need to let them know that this is not a, uh, you know, a solution to to the issues that they're having. We don't need to be posting mean comments about um, people on the internet, especially. Um, and so, just talk about uh, with them about why this is wrong, and then send home a form with parents, you know, discussing cyberbullying and you know the effects that it can have on people. Ask colleagues if they're having similar issues that Miss Tate's having, and provide help if they are. And then try and talk with Miss Tate again about how she can change her classroom so that they can have a more positive learning experience. Category three. Resolution, what is best for my students? Um, to, pr pr to promote the academic success and personal well-being of every student, I think that it is best to not rush to judgment um, when thinking about the facts. Um, you don't want um, you know, the students to become standoffish, and you need to educate them on cyber safety and how to use the Internet appropriately. I think that um, your students want to succeed, and you need to make sure that Ms. Tate knows that um, she's doing everything she can possible to let the students succeed in her classroom. Some data from this case, um, many students in Miss Tate's class aspire to be valid Victorian or, you know, just generate um, competition in their class because they want the highest grades. Also, because they are wealthy, they are, um, you know, they have the newest technology available to them, so they are always using the internet, always, you know, on it. And then, um, to reduce stress, um, he tried talk with, talking with Miss Tate and, um, you know, implementing uh, classroom instruction or um, just strategies that she can use in her instruction, and she hasn't done that, so parents and students are complaining about this workload and uh, her instruction in, in general. Category four, um, what was I thinking as I responded to this problem? Um, it was actually interesting. I, when I was in middle school, we had a, a teacher that had um, a Facebook page made about him when I was in middle school, and it was a, I hate his name um, 
Facebook page, and he took matters into his own hands and actually went to the students that were on the Facebook page, you know, had liked the page or commented, went to their houses on Easter and, um, you know, talked with their parents about how he wanted to, you know, charge them with cyberbullying and things like that. So I was, I was really interested in, in this case, actually, and just thinking through, I remember the situation that happened in middle school. Also, it would be nerve-wracking to find a page like this about yourself. I can only imagine um, finding an I hate whatever page or, you know, just finding mean comments about yourself. And I was thinking that immediate action needed to be done to determine if there was a real threat. I was feeling frustrated that the students would go to this length, and I was nervous, And um, but I needed to make sure that I ensured safety for everyone. And I was assured that I had the right people in my building, though, that could handle this problem. Um, what was I valuing as I responded to this problem? Um, I valued Miss Tate being honest and letting me know right away instead of dealing it with dealing with it with herself, like I said the other teacher did when I was in middle school. Um, I valued training that I had had up to this point, and I valued an IT department that I could go to if I needed help trying to figure out who created the Facebook page. What issues are still unresolved or open to further investigation? Um, why has Miss Tate not listened to the feedback that the principal's given her? I'm just, um, as a new teacher especially, I would always listen to feedback and try and implement anything um, that my principals give me. So I think that that needs to happen. What punishment needs to come of this? Um, any students, you know, involved need to be punished in some way. And then what can I do to make sure this doesn't happen again? Just trying to, um, you know, hopefully have a positive learning environment, environment at my school. And then finally, category five. Um, I, the education leader at the building, applied knowledge that promoted the success of every student by act acting with integrity by keeping an open mind, holding my students to a high standard, and doing my principal duties and taking charge of the situation. Um, the same thing, but acting with fairness, allowing everyone to speak um, that was involved, not rushing to judgment um, when I was talking with anyone, and acting the same way I would in any similar situation, not giving, you know, any bias. Same thing, but in ethical manner, um, I followed the rules. I took the threat seriously um, to determine, you know, what would happen. And then talking with students who made the page about their ethics and just things that they can do to better themselves um, and, you know, promote happiness and fairness and integrity and everything like that in the school.